Okay, when you're on your computer and you delete files yeah. and send them to the recycle bin, you assume that they're gone forever, right? No. No? They're not. They're not gone forever. That's just one of the myths that many people think when it comes to technology. All right, Jeff, walk us through the other ones. Well, how about I walk you through cell phones and signal strength? How many times have you done this? Or you're searching for a signal. Sure. You, you <laughs> absolutely need a signal. You're stuck in Tahoe. Your car has a flat tire. And you keep on looking for that signal. And it just doesn't come through. Do more bars mean better service? Well, I'm going to take you through that in a sec. But first, you know, it, you see that in movies, too, where there's no cell phone signal. And it actually helps build the tension. Take a look. One bar. One bar. All right, I'm fully charged, but there's no signal out here. Any signal? Nope. Where's no one can get a signal up here. I can't get a signal. Did you guys recognize any of those movies? Not really. No, that's because they're terrible. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this was posted at Yahoo Finance. More bars means better service. That's a myth. You know, that's not really the case. Bars on your smartphone actually indicate your signal strength to the cell phone tower closest to you. Your service depends on how many devices those towers are serving at any given time. Metropolitan areas are equipped to handle the dense population of people trying to use their cell phones in one confined space. So for example, you go to a 49ers game or you go to a Cal Expo uh, during the state fair where there's lots of people, you may have bars on your cell phone but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're able to make that call. Myth number two, you should let your phone's battery drain before recharging. That's true in some cases, but not all. It depends on the battery. For example, the newer lithium ion batteries do not require a device to be drained before recharging. For iPhone and iPad users, Apple does advise consumers to drain their devices once a month, but that's only to keep the electrons moving. Another myth has to do with cameras and the megapixels. And as we get closer to the holidays, you're going to hear those ads again from these manufacturers bragging about the megapixels. But does that mean better quality pictures? That only applies to real professional photographers who plan on blowing up photos to make posters. For amateurs who are just interested in the casual point and shoot moments, more megapixels does not translate into a better camera, per se, or better photos. Three megapixels will do the trick. Seven or more is for professionals. And last, I wanted to point out to you, is here on the screen, emptying your recycle bin. One myth is that once you delete your recycle bin and empty it in the trash, that it's gone forever. That's actually not the case. It's just freeing up space on your hard drive. You actually have to go through an additional step. For example, on a Mac, choose the secure empty trash as a final step in the deletion process. On a PC, download a program like sdelete, which helps to securely wipe uh, all of that free space. Just a few things to keep in mind with your tech gadgets.